Hi everyone, Chris McGuire here and I've got another Hey Chris question. Today I've got, Hey Chris, how can musicians better use social media? And this is perfect. Okay, there's heaps of different ways that musicians can better use social media. Um, if you're in a band, obviously you need a Facebook page, as I've said before in a previous one. It's staggering how many bands don't even have a Facebook account, so you obviously need Facebook, you need Instagram, um, build up a following one fan at a time. Don't have any expectations of getting a thousand fans straight away or a thousand people liking your page straight away. It's nine times out of ten, it just isn't going to happen. Just do it one fan at a time. Um, be consistent with your content, so consistently upload. Um, it doesn't have to be specifically related to exactly what, you, what you're doing because in a band you're not busy every single day but just what you may sort of think is trivial your fans may actually sort of like to sort of see so uh, uploading snippets of a jam session or practice sessions um, set list ideas just there's really an endless sort of thing that you can sort of contribute Really what you want to be thinking of is with your content is that you're giving them something. So you're giving them um, some sort of content that they would like or appreciate um, just to sort of build that fan to musician relationship up further and then you'd sort of ask them to come to your, your concert. It is important that you do ask that they come to your concert but you want to give them stuff along the way so give them like an insight into the band um, give them um, if it means giving away a free song um, to your fan base anything like that so give 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 and then go for the ask say hey we've got a gig coming up things like that you could even take it a step further um, now on YouTube obviously bands are using YouTube to broadcast their videos and little snippets and things like that what I really think would be is going to be the way to go is vlogging. I think vlogging is definitely going to be huge, and this is underused in the musician realm. Um, I would love it if uh, Steve Vai would have um, do a vlog each day, like a daily vlog. I would just love to see, even if he's just sitting at home, interacting with his family and things like that. It doesn't have to be sort of guitar related, but because I'm such a fan, I'd be interested in that. Now for a local band, um, I'd still like to see see what they do. If there's like a local band that I'm really interested in, I sort of want to know what they're sort of doing, what sort of trials and tribulations that they're going to. So if they could vlog something like that, um, that'd be really good. So I can go on the journey with them um, and, and help support them and it'll just make me a bigger fan that I can go on this journey with them. So I think vlogging is going to be something very, very huge. I don't see a lot of musicians really any sort of doing. I think that vlogging space is going to be um, very huge in the next couple of years. Um, another way that I think bands could better use social media, um, again this is kind of, kind of coming back to YouTube and now this is just my sort of thought and sort of take on it. Now there's like a button that you can click on to monetize your videos. What I'd probably suggest is to not monetize your videos. I know it's a bit controversial, but hear, hear me out. Obviously you do sort of want to make money from it eventually, but if we're playing the long game here. So don't get the piddly amount that you're going to get from, from YouTube. Instead, if you put out content and think of some um, brands or like-minded affiliate companies that you would like to deal with, um, obviously when we're in, in a band we'd sort of think about getting endorsements and being um, associated with certain brands and things like that. Reverse engineer that, so sort of think of the brands that you'd like to work with. Start advertising their products on your videos for free and don't have the ad because that can quickly become annoying. So if your, ad, if your videos don't have ads, that's going to differentiate you from the, the rest of the market which are monetizing their, their thing, uh, their, their videos. So it's going to stand out straight away. 
once you sort of build up that following, these brands aren't going to ignore what you're going to do. Now, you may sort of say that they're just going to take advantage because you're giving them advertising for free, and that's going to be fine up to a point, but once it sort of hits a critical mass, you can go to these companies and say, hey, we've given you all this sort of free stuff. If you'd like this to continue, how about you sponsor like the like a segment on YouTube or sponsor these things so you have uh, an, a, a company that you actually know and trust and like sponsoring your videos rather than some random company that has nothing to do with music or anything like that uh, could be totally against your values and anything like that you have no control over what companies advertise on your YouTube things. A little bit controversial, that advice isn't for everybody, but that's the way that I would be uh, sort of going and it's uh, thinking about it a little bit differently, which I don't think you see a lot of musicians sort of doing. Take that advice, take it or leave it, um, but yeah, that's just um, my advice. Hopefully you found something there that you could use. Thank you for your questions as always. Uh, if you do have any questions, just send them to chris at musichaven.com.au. Cheers, thanks.